your first alert five weather with Mike Denny. This is Must See TV. The Bears are coming out of hibernation. They're hungry. They are on the move. And this is what it looked like yesterday up in Woodland Park. Look at that fella just strolling through the neighborhood looking for lunch. You know, of course, the drive throughs are just packed these days. So he was looking for uh, other opportunities. Always post your pics and your videos up on our Facebook page, KOAA5, or just send them to me. I'm M. Daniels at KOAA. Dot com. Outside live on News 5 right now, we've got high clouds across Colorado Springs, dry from Flying W Ranch to Rattlesnake Hill, all the way to Chapita Elementary School. 63 degrees despite the cloud cover. There's a south breeze at 10 miles per hour. Pueblo, you've got a lot of clouds, but it's dry. It'll be dry for the rest of the night tonight. 74 degrees easterly breeze at 16 miles per hour. All right to that all important Mother's Day weekend forecast. How about 64 both Saturday and Sunday, partly cloudy skies on Sunday. And in Pueblo, mild for mom. How about 70 degrees both Saturday and Sunday with dry conditions? Here's what happens around here tomorrow. Next 24 hours, you're going to watch a cold front push across the area. It's going to be windy around here tomorrow. Looking at gusts anywhere from 40 to 45 miles per hour. It's going to be dry all day around here tomorrow. That drier air simply means we've got high fire danger once again. Red flag warning from El Paso County, Pueblo County, down to New Mexico, all the way back west into the mountains. And stay away from anything that is flammable because if a fire should start tomorrow under those kind of conditions, it could burn out of control very quickly. Here is your big weather story. Much cooler air on Friday. The front will be down to the south of us. We'll have more of an upslope flow around here. Temperatures on Friday anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees colder than what we'll have tomorrow. And unfortunately, it's a dry cold front. No moisture in that Friday forecast either. All right, let's go outside right now and show you current temperatures across the viewing area right after we do the Almanac. 75 in Pueblo close to where you should be this time of the year and in the springs we topped out at 66 and that is right on the money always good to be normal outside right now here are those current temperatures a little chilly up in woodland park 47 is the current temperature there but very mild across the rest of the news five viewing area low temperatures tonight 44 in pueblo 42 in the springs those numbers actually a couple degrees warmer than where we usually drop to this time of the year afternoon highs tomorrow the warmest we'll have for at least the next six days around here 70s and 80s but the wind going to blow out of the uh, north northwest anywhere from 40 to occasionally 45 miles per hour. Those will be those peak wind gusts in the springs. 56 degrees for that afternoon high on Friday. But look at the low early Friday morning teasing with freezing with that low at 33. That's across the city up north. It's probably going to drop a little below freezing early Friday morning. Saturday, good looking day. Mother's Day again on Sunday. It'll be dry. Then on Monday and Tuesday, a chance we could see some thunderstorm activity for a change. Let's hope it happens. We need that water in a big way. Pueblo, you should find something you like in this one. A variety of temperatures over the next three days. Good looking Mother's Day weekend and then rain possible by Monday. At this point, I'm cautiously optimistic that you'll get at least a passing PM thunderstorm on Monday. Unfortunately, it's one and done because you're back to dry skies Tuesday into Wednesday with sunshine on Wednesday. Canyon City on Friday, that front will drop temperatures, but it won't drop any moisture. Next chance of rain thunderstorms rolls in on Monday. Every day we don't get rain around here. That vegetation just continues to dry out. Woodland Park high fire danger tomorrow. Stay away from anything that could possibly spark a fire. Chill in the air Friday and look at those lows. Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning dropping below freezing. Finally some rain in the forecast by Monday into Tuesday.